Hey guys, this, I'm going to try to make this pretty quick, but you all know that that's pretty hard for me, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. But anyway, um, this here is a Sears early one, model 246.57313 smoke detector. Now, um, if you remember, I've made two other videos on these before. I actually have, well, if you've watched the videos, you may remember that I had three of these, but I've actually only got two of them, two other ones now because um, I gave one of those away from my other previous videos. But this one is actually a brand new one that I just received yesterday. Um, I received this one from a viewer of my channel who actually found me, um, and uh, he was grateful enough to send this one to me. So um, I'm very, hap very happy to have another one of these. I can never have, as, never have too many Sears, is what I, as I always say. Um, but anyway, um, you'll notice that um, this one, unlike my other ones, in fact I have my other ones right here, here's one of them and here's the other one and you'll I'll get to in a minute on why these two are so different than this one actually they're all different from each other but so I'll get to each of them in a minute but first you'll notice that unlike these two this one is missing its light lens no I did not do that nice I broke the light lens um, this one was actually uh, already broken when I got it. It was already missing and broken when I got it. Um, and I'm not sure if there's a way to like 3D print that part or something because I really would like to like find a lens or something suitable to fit in there so that the bulb doesn't get damaged. But um, yeah, um, I did forget to mention, actually I can't believe I forgot to mention, this one is a rebranded BRK Model 1200 which features the exclusive escape light. Um, as you can see here, BRK's very first escape light model and I actually have one of those right here here's the original 1200 here's what it looked like and then uh, BRK later uh, sourced that model to their sub brand first alert and they made the SA120 like this so it has the exact same base as the 1200 but a different cover that was like the first alert style cover and then after that they um, because Sears also rebranded BRK detectors um, guessing that BRK also contracted a number of these units out to Sears with these special Sears covers. So, um, essentially, there's three different versions, actually no, four different versions of these 70s BRK escape light models. I only have three of them. There's another one that's like, it's a rebranded Mastercraft or Montgomery Wards, and it also, I think they've been seen labeled, relabeled Family Guard, but they have like the Mastercraft style cover, Montgomery Ward style cover with like all the slots and they have an escape light right here. So that's a really rare model. That's one I'd like to have. So take a look at the back of this unit and you can see that this one has the red label and that is similar to this one right here which also has the red label. However this one has the normal later white label with the red writing. Um, so I'm going to head, go ahead and open the cover now, and you can see the inside is a fair bit different from any of the other ones that I have. Um, this one has the, uh, well first of all it has the escape light right there, the regular round metal sensor. This one has a tiered test button and a LED that is red colored, like it's not clear colored but like it has a red light, it's actually red colored. The sensitivity adjustment is right there, and it's the newer style sensitivity adjustment with the little, like, Phillips head screw adjustment rather than the large knob. And the horn is the biggest difference. This one's got the beige colored, older style horn. Um, it's what we sometimes refer to as the banana horn because these radial slots here look kind of like bananas, similar to the banana fan from Evergo. Um, if you're a ceiling fan person, you get that reference. Um, but if I go ahead and open this one up, which also has the red label, you can see that this one is a fair bit different. This one has the red or rust-colored horn, also the banana-style horn, but this one has the older-style sensitivity adjustment with the large blue knob. Um, this one also has the tiered test button, so that tells you it's a little bit earlier. This cover goes on that one. And if we take a look at this one here, this one is actually the very latest model. And this was the very first one I got, ironically. But this one's even more different. This one has the later style horn without the three slots. It has the three small holes. And it has a dome test button, which was the, the later style that came out, I think, in like the 
early 80s or something like that late 70s early 80s so it's this one's cover so in order of production these sears units go the red horn one came first and then this one and then after they switched to the later style horn they changed this design with the dome button so yeah it's not too hard to follow it's pretty straightforward now this one's got some paint around its base that i'm going to attempt to clean off it was like that when i got it um the cover is actually in excellent condition except for that broken light lens um so yeah I can't get the cover back on without saying it off. We'll go ahead and give this one a test now. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off my light here. Um, let's see here. Give me one second here. All right, I've got all my lights off. The only light you're seeing now is coming from the window, which unfortunately I can't do anything about. So we are going to test this unit with the light and the horn in three, two, one. Huh. So the sound it makes is actually that of the earlier model. This one, it's got that really, really fast pulse. Um, the later ones kind of had like a slower, like beep, 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 beep sort of thing. Um, the light is extremely bright as expected. Let's actually move over here into the closet, which is pitch dark. And... Lights up the whole closet. All right. So, get some lights back on in here. Test it without the cover now. And then also, the LED looks like it stays. The LED stays constantly glowing as the alarm is sounding rather than, like in the later version, like this one, the LED flashes along with the pulse pattern of the, of the horn. So that's very interesting. So this is a very unusual transitional model. I can't say I've ever seen one quite like this before. Um, let's check the issue number. This one is issue 5536. And this one is 5533. So yeah, this one is just a slight bit older. So this one probably didn't come out uh, too soon after they stopped using the red horn um, since it has that red label, not the white label. Just a very overall weird detector. It's got like a combination of different earlier and later features. I, I really like it, so I'm very happy to have this one. Uh, once again, huge thank you to the individual that sent it to me. Um, if they want to make themselves known, they can. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to invade people's privacy. So let's test it once more. It's also really high pitched. I'm just noticing it's like really high pitched. That might even be Nathaniel's favorite pitch, actually. I don't know. I don't have perfect pitch. Anyway, that is it for this video. So that is the Sears, the transitional model Sears, early one model 573, 246.57313 with escape light. So thank you for watching and more to come.